Welcome back to CBS Mornings. Great white sharks are among the most famous fish in the sea, but a key detail about their lives has remained a mystery. For centuries, researchers have been unable to find the place where they mate in the Atlantic Ocean. However, scientists may be on the verge of an answer, and our Carter Evans joined a team 12 miles off the coast of North Carolina for an up-close look at their research. Look at that shark. It turns out getting a great white shark to bite is not as easy as you may think. There's another one right there. Take a look. We're on an expedition with O-Search off the Outer Banks of North Carolina. The bait's in the water, and so are the sharks. This is like the most exciting slash nerve-wracking part of it is when they're like really close to the bait and you're just waiting for them to grab it. But they're cautious, circling the boat for hours. At this point, we are literally surrounded by sharks. They are circling the boat. That's the big one. That's what scientists want to catch. And it's not taking the bait. It is a buffet that you've laid out there for this shark. And of the thing it wants the most. And it won't take a bite. So it just shows you how deliberate these white sharks are. Chris Fisher founded O-Search, and CBS News was there when the organization tagged its very first Atlantic white shark in 2012. They'll soon hit their goal of 100 captures, tracking each one online. But first, the team hopes to uncover one of the white shark's best kept secrets. There's nine white shark populations around the world and no one has ever identified a mating site. That seems to be one of the big missing pieces to this puzzle. That's the last big missing piece, yes. With centuries of people on the ocean, no one's ever documented this? Well, this is a 400 million year old secret. The ocean's not gonna give it up easy. Scientists think it could be happening right here off the Carolina coast during the summer migration. Oh. And to find out, they need blood samples. You can see that buoy essentially headed away from the boat right now. There is a great white shark on the other end of that line. They're gonna head out in the boat now and bring it back here. 13 footish, best guess is female. 15 foot, that's exactly what we're looking for. Like a dog on a leash, the team leads the shark onto a submerged platform. And the scientists spring into action. They're working like a NASCAR pit crew out here fast, trying to get these satellite tags installed because they've only got 15 minutes that they can keep this animal out of the water. They draw blood and even perform an ultrasound, all while the shark is awake and unsedated. I just want to get right in here and get a, get a look. Can we? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, I've never been this close to such a massive animal before. Brett McBride is pumping seawater through her gills to keep her breathing. I mean, you've got your hand practically in its mouth. <laughs> yeah, but you can see that it's fairly docile. They usually are. Scientists call this learned helplessness. The shark can't go anywhere, so she stops fighting to save energy. Can I touch one of her teeth? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, this is so weird. Within minutes, the data for 24 different scientific projects is collected, and the shark they've named Umi, the Japanese word for ocean, swims away. But those tags scientists attach will track her movements for up to 10 years. They're the system manager of the ocean. As they go, the ocean goes. The ocean is 70% of the planet, provides us two thirds of our oxygen, 100% of our water, and billions of people food every day. They are the guardians of our fish stocks. There's no future for us as humans if there's not a robust future for our large sharks. For CBS Mornings, I'm Carter Evans, off the coast of North Carolina. It looks so taxing for the shark. I know we're getting good information, but can you imagine if somebody just yanked you out of the house, stuck something down your throat, started throwing water on you, taking all these measurements? You know, we have that series, Try Something New. Are you interested in getting on the shark show? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm you good. sure? No, I'm good. It's from here, though, I can watch. Yeah, from old, here, I can 400 watch. million year old mystery, Nate. You're right. Let's talk about sharks, baby. <laughs> so basically, how sharks have sex. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's what that We was can about. figure that out. We can figure the ocean out which can help save us. Let's talk about you and me. There we got it. it.